Okay, so good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Xiao Yang and I am a second year PhD at MIT ECS, advised by Professor Song Han. Uh, so today I'm very glad to introduce our group's recent work, our sort of efficient long sequence around serving with the unified sparse attention. So let's get started. Uh, recently, LM with uh, long context processing capabilities has become more and more important, particularly considering the emergence of new applications such as a long document, long video understanding, and uh, complex recent tasks. So uh, efficiently serving these long context models can be very crucial. Uh, critically, both prevailing stage and the decoding stage can be the, uh, very important to optimizing this scenario. So for example, for the long video understanding tasks, the prevailing stage can be the bottleneck well, for the uh, tasks such as uh, long, uh, long generation and uh, re complex reasoning. Uh, it is quite crucial to optimize the decoding speed with the long context inputs. Uh, therefore, in also we optimize both the prevailing stage and the decoding stage with the introduction of sparsity, and we also save the memory consumption of the KV cache as a byproduct of this kind of uh, sparse attention optimization. So in this figure, we demonstrate that the bottleneck in long context processing is uh, attention completion. So as you can see, as the sequence length gets longer, the attention operation can be the bottleneck of the end-to-end -end decoding si end -end system in both the prevailing stage and the decoding stage. This phenomenon can be further exacerbated if, you, you, if you, there is a longer input sequence because uh, the uh, co computer complexity of the attention is always higher than the linear layers. In order to accelerate the attention operation, uh, we introduce sparsity to, the, to its computation. So on GPUs, attention processing uh, typically takes a key and the value block sequentially due to the need to uh, compute the attention score and the uh, output reduction. Uh, in also we utilize the block sparse attention to accelerate this kind of computation through uh, skip less important KV cache, uh, KV cache pages uh, for acceleration. Since it can directly reduce the uh, iteration in the sequential processing and it also costs less overhead compared to the fine grained sparsity. So that's what we are going to do with the block sparse attention. Uh, particularly, I also unifies different kind of sparse, pat uh, sparse attention patterns, uh, unified hybrid sparse attention with the framework of block sparse attention. So, for example, in the middle, we can see that figure B demonstrates the streaming attention, or we can see the streaming pad, uh, which only uh, look, at, look into the very first several sync tokens and the local tokens for the attention computation. And on the right hand side, we uh, showcase another example, with, uh, which is the dynamic sparsity in the decoding stage, uh, which means we just uh, skip less important KV pages uh, based on the, our page cloning algorithm with regard to the current query token. So now let's take a look at the uh, overall system of the LSR paper. So on the left hand side, we showcase the uh, uh, prevailing data flow where we have a huge attention kernel for different kind of attention has both the dense attention part, a dense attention head and the streaming attention head. So we use the fused attention kernel to process these two kinds of different attention patterns so that there is no extra overhead introduced by this kind of sparsity because there is no separate kernel calls. We use a single kernel to process all these things. So in the middle we uh, show the uh, KV cache page design of the whole system and uh, particularly we split the KV cache into two different kind of pages, the streaming head page and the you know, the uh, dense, uh, dense head page. So, because the streaming head only need to look into the first several tokens and local tokens, the length of the streaming head pages is fixed. Therefore, we can save some memory consumption of the KV cache with the introduction of sparsity here. Uh, on the right hand side, we show the decoding data flow of our system and above the streaming attentions, above the static sparsity, we also introduce dynamic sparsity of the dense head, where we introduce the page selector to uh, pull out the uh, less important KV pages for the acceleration of. Uh, you know, uh, decoding stage attention. And we also have some system uh, aware optimizations such as the hierarchical paging system and reusable page selector to reduce overhead, which we'll elaborate in future slides. So first of all, I'd like to briefly introduce the prevailing stage in our <coughs> So we introduced static sparsity in the prevailing stage and we got some inspiration from our group's uh, previous publications of due attention. Uh, where we tune the hyperparameter of alpha to distinguish the different kind of attention heads, uh, streaming heads, and the small attention heads. After that, we use our fused attention kernel, as we have discussed before, to process the streaming head and dense head all together. And on the uh, on the bottom right, we can see the bar figure shows that uh, our uh, implementation of the sparse attention kernel uh, uh, achieves the performance that very clearly to the uh, very uh, very you know close to the uh, theoretical upper bound of the performance. On the, the given state, uh, under the given uh, sparsity level. 
So now let's take a look at the pruning stage and the implementation of our dynamic sparsity. So first of all, I'd like to introduce a vanilla pruning uh, algorithm with a page importance estimation. We take the first paper as an example, which is uh, you know, a very good example for the query of well selective attention. So in this kind of method, uh, people typically use uh, representative for each KB page to uh, you know, some statistics such as the min-max reduction to represent the uh, features of the current KB page and then use the current token to compute the importance score to estimate whether the current KB page is, uh, you know, is uh, meaningful or is useful to attempt to. And finally, the pruning algorithm will pick the KB pages with highest importance score for the selective sparse attention. However, this kind of design may lead to a challenge and we call it a page size dilemma in our paper. So basically, uh, so page pruning algorithm typically will, uh, it will prefer the smaller page sizes because uh, it will prefer a smaller page size because the finite granularity of pruning may lead to better accuracy. Right on the right hand side, uh, we show that the larger KB page size is, is, bad, is typically better for the, from the efficiency side because it means that the, uh, the hardware efficiency can be improved because there is a better continuity of the physical layout of the KB cache map. So in order to solve this problem, we introduce a hierarchical paging system in ELSER. The key idea of the hierarchical page is to uh, introduce two level abstraction of the KB page so that we can decouple the pruning algorithm from the physical memory layout of the KB cache. And specifically, we deploy smaller logical pages inside each physical page in the hierarchical paging system, and then we compute the channel-wide statistics such as Kmax and Kmin per logical page. So in this example, we split the physical page into two different logical ones, and each logical page has its own statistic as the representative of itself. Uh, after that, we use the representative of each logical smaller page to compute the importance a score of themselves. So to be more specific, we still multiply the query with the Kmax and Kmi respectively in an element-wise method, so that uh, finally we can add some up with uh, under the guidance of channel-wise maximum to get the final output score, the important score of each logical page. In this example, the first logical page has an important score of 23 and the second one has an important score of 40. And finally, we define the important score of the physical page uh, as the maximum of the scores of all its logical pages, so which is 40 in this example. So as a result, if there is an important you know, token in the current physical page, it will, its importance will not be amortized or interfered by other tokens in the same large physical page because as the current logical page, the smaller one will have you know, very high importance score and as a result, the physical page will also have a very high importance score. So it will be picked by the uh, page pruning algorithm, and uh, as a result, no important tokens will be omitted due to the increase of the larger uh, due to the increase of the page size. So to sum up, on the right hand, we demonstrate the effectiveness of our hierarchical paging system. Uh, to be more specific, we compare the accuracy of dynamic sparsity with uh, different physical page sizes, and we benchmark it with uh, needle and haystack uh, long context model benchmark data. Uh, and we can see that uh, so. Our research shows that the l maintains the accuracy with increased physical page sizes since all these three benchmarks fail at the same token budget as three K tokens. We can see that there is a red spot uh, in each of the figures, which means that there is a failure case there. So we decrease the token budget until the first failure case appears, and we can see that they fail at the same token budget, which means that they are ac the accuracy on the different page sizes are uh, very similar to each other, demonstrating the effectiveness of our design. And next, we are going to introduce another hardware-aware system algorithm called optimization we introduced in the ELSER paper. So here we designed a reusable page selector to reduce the overhead of dynamic page selection process. So note that we reduce the computation complexity of decoding stage attention to a constant number. Therefore, the page selector, the selector itself can be the bottleneck of the, you know, the whole inference uh, system, which is ignoring the existing literature. So in also we leverage the intrinsic temporal locality in natural language to solve this problem. Specifically, uh, we notice that consecutive query tokens often like to attend to similar KB pages, so there is no need to uh, perform the page selection process for each query token respectively and independently. And we can reuse the page selection results from the previous query tokens for the current chunk, so that uh, the, you know, the cost of, of page selection can be amortized across different, kind of, uh, different query tokens. And this figure demonstrates the effectiveness of our design. We can see that uh, 
uh, at, since we introduced a reusable page selector, we greatly reduce the overhead of the page selection process, which can otherwise in the vanilla design it can be the uh, system bottleneck for the whole attention uh, process. And finally, I'd like to present some overall uh, accuracy and efficiency evaluation of our L3 system. So first of all, there are some accuracy benchmarks such as the needle in haystack and a very challenging benchmark for the long context model, which is the ruler benchmark from the media. And we can see that our method will preserve the model accuracy under different kind of uh, you know, context lenses and so that demonstrating the effectiveness of our pruning method. And on the top right, we also uh, showcase the uh, accuracy evaluation of reasoning models. We evaluate uh, our uh, L-surf system with uh, benchmark, uh, benchmark such as AIME 2024 and MASS 500. And we can see that the accuracy is still very good. From the efficiency side, we provide some benchmark numbers as an example here. So we compare our system with, uh, for example, existing systems such as an inference, due attention, q serve and uh, VM. And we can see that across different models, different sequence lengths, and different hardware, our system is able to achieve a uh, much better performance than existing state of the art frameworks, especially such as the VLM. And we achieve up to 2.1 times speed up over the VLM uh, in, the best of, in the best case. So I think that's uh, all about my presentation today. Thanks a lot for your patience, and uh, I would be glad to take questions. Thank you.